In this lesson, we are going to determine the point-slope form of an equation or a linear equation when they give us a point and a slope. So this is a nice introduction to point-slope. In the previous video, I did introduce it briefly and we said that point-slope goes like this. Where we said that this part here is the slope. That's the slope. And then this part here the y1 and x1, that would be a random point. So here's our first example. It says determine the point slope form equation. So it's quite easy. So you go y minus y1 equals to m and then x minus x1. So we need to work out the slope. Oh, but they gave us that. That's so nice and easy. Okay, so we'll just go fill that in as 4. And then you just need to go fill in a point. So here's a point that they've given us. So this here is a x value. So now you don't put it into that x. Uh, you don't put it there. You put it into x1, okay? That's important. And then this is a y value, so you put it over there. So let's go fill it in. So it's going to be y take away 5 equals to 4, and then x take away negative 2. So you see we've got two negatives now. So then we're going to go fix that up quickly by just saying x add 2. And that's it. You don't now try to move things around or multiply out the brackets. You literally leave it just like that. Here's our next example. So we know now that slope, I mean point slope form goes like this. So the slope is negative 2. So we'll fill that in over there. And then with the point, that is an x value, so it's over there. And then that over there is a y value. Okay, so we go fill it in. So it says y take away, and then this is negative, so I'm just going to say negative 4. So I've got two negatives there, which we'll have to fix up a little bit later. And then negative 2 times x take away 3. So then that'll just become y add 4 equals to negative 2 x take away 3. And that's it. So you might be thinking, Kevin, this is stupid. Like, why do we have all these different ways of writing equations? I mean, you've showed us the point... I mean, the, sorry, the slope intercept. You've showed us standard form. And now we're learning a new one called, called point slope. And my answer is, I don't know. I don't know why mathematicians have decided to do that. Um, but yeah, whatever. Like, <laughs> it's just something we've got to know how to do. Hey, I know it's weird, but yeah, just different ways of doing the same thing, to be honest. And so here's our last example. So they want the point slope form. So by now you should be having a good idea or a feeling of how to write that out like that. They tell us the slope is a quarter. Okay, so we go fill that in as a quarter. All right, and then we're going to use a point. So that is an x value. So we put that in over there. Sorry, just the x one, not the negative. And then the y value is that one over there. And so now we just go fill that all in. So it's y take away negative 3. See, that's a negative 3, but there was already a negative. So don't worry about that. You just fill in the two negatives. That's fine. We'll fix it up in the next step. And then that's equal to the slope, which is a quarter, and then x take away negative 2. And so that ends up becoming y plus 3 equals to a quarter, and then bracket x plus 2.